Dang. You hear that thing on the flashing lights? The flashing lights. The flashers? The flashers of horns. Okay. I've had a couple of parents tell me that the uh, lights goes off before all the children's in the school. I'd say that just matter of setting the time. Yeah, I've got a set, I think, 15 or 20 minutes in the morning, 15 or 20 minutes in the evening. And I got that information from one of the bus drivers on when they start arriving and when they, when they uh, transfer and come on to the high school. So I was taking the bus driver's information. I That can be changed uh, easily. We needed an additional five minutes or so. That's, that's an easy fix. Uh, the next <clears> one, <throat> numerous leaks. Some are now fixed. Uh, according to Ms. Stingus today, uh, she has not had any uh, reports lately of any leaks. Keep in mind you have a two-year warranty on the first floor before the war, before the manufacturer's warranty kicks in. You have your roof, bank, your roof contractor to your warranty on it and your manufacturer. We have a 15 or 20. I thought it was 20. 20. Okay. So you got actually 20. Uh, the uh, sewer smell in the classrooms consistently uh, they indicated that they would come and do whatever they needed to do to try to uh, track that down. They did a smoke test before the school opened. Yes. And I called daughter who was the plumbing company to talk to Robert Paul and the And to, to see if they were had scheduled a, another smoke test, that's what we kind of requested. He had got the information to do that as of yet, and he was going to talk to his supervisor to see if they could uh, arrange that. I think that's the best way to find the problem. If it's a mode, uh, a trap, it's going dry, that, that'll tell the tale. That's a little bit of an owl air. That's the best way to find it. Yeah, we think it's either a seal on a mode or a trap. Uh, noise and reverberation in the foyer uh, of the building is so bad that you can't hear anything that's being said. Uh, we walk down into that foyer. It's why it's a loud space because it has to be hard surfaces. We talked to Mike Hall. He's, he's contemplating uh, getting a little bit of money to put some sound panels on the wall it can be as easy as a big bulletin board on the as you walk in on the left uh, on the administration wall we can make a bulletin board out of the sound panel uh, material we can do something like that uh, it shouldn't be very expensive if we can try to that will help to soften it uh, room up need something to absorb the sound we've got some hard surfaces there The building was not initially wired for telephones, but we've already talked about that, that uh, those are for IP phones that there were not to be uh, other wires. The building was not wired for uh, television. Again, uh, everything is there. Armstrong just needs to go in and uh, take the cable, put the cable in for the TV to be able to work. That Classrooms have a couple classrooms from walk in at the outlet of the top for the TV receptacle and there was a clock hanging on the outlet for the TV cable uh, behind the clock. Somebody just turned the battery and operated the clock. And then what happens is the electrical contractor is waiting on Armstrong to bring the cable to the building so they can take the cable hooked up to the end. Now 
Dan, you told me you were going to contact Arnold Strong uh, today, right? Uh, I am called. I mean, you and I talked about yeah, this I'm today. Going on. This would be one of those items that's already paid for. Oh, it's done. It's just whatever you talk about, the wrong problem. They just have to do it. Um, building was not wired for a fax line that's already been taken care of. The card reader has now been connected to the sex offender database. The gentleman um, that is responsible, he was there. He said that was his um, one thing that he was to do. And when he came and he connected it, uh, Debbie told me today she had not checked um, as of today to see if it was working. It, uh, the email we got today, uh, so all the work is installed, masonry technician found that the staff had not used the function you know, since they were trained on it, uh, and they had forgotten how to use the function, and uh, the technician retrained the office staff to their satisfaction. Okay. Just as as of today had not. Um, <coughs> The next one, the trophy case class, uh, ready to fall. Ms. Dingus told me that, uh, I know that evening, Dana, you had uh, Radford, you showed him what it was. Debbie told me he left her the uh, phone number of the company. She uh, tried to call them, and it's actually a fax number, so she uh, wrote them a letter on school letterhead and faxed it to them, and she is awaiting that they were going to, a Bradford was going to. The Bradford's going to follow on. Yes. Is that something that Bradford is going to do? Yeah, he said he would follow up on that contract. Yes. So that would be Debbie's responsibility to chase down their problem. It's no. not, and, and he, I, I think he talked to Mike Paul and I about calling them. Okay. It appeared that the glass was too small for the other And um, the next one, rooms are numbered wrong. Now, uh, it appeared that uh, my call, SBA, said they would pay for. You and I talked about splitting the calls by making sure the rooms are. I'm still waiting on him. Call him back on that. The sound changes. Okay. I tried to call him today, but he was out in the part of the state. Okay. And um, there was a uh, slip in the uh, area near the sewer plant. Uh, Radford said he would be bringing his equipment back. Whenever he comes back to do anything else, he'll bring the equipment to fix that slip and put a rock, some additional rock to the whole thing. It's more of an erosion for the sand and the soil of the sand. Okay. Yes, some erosion. That's okay. Uh, cove base, um, Dana. Uh, it was, cove base is like the uh, rubber baseboard that goes inside the classroom. I took him and showed him where it was at. It's an easy fix. You can fix that. And when it says one horn in the gym, we really think that meant that the meant intercom. The right. Meant that was right. the intercom. No I misunderstood. Mm -hmm. Somebody had told me they had the trouble hearing the, I thought they said the fire alarm system. Maybe it was, maybe I misunderstood. I don't know sure. how I got a horn instead of a Lights not on a programmable schedule. I'm not sure they're going to be. If it's however you want to program, we, we would like them to be on the end of our systems. They're off. They're staying on. Well, they, they, they spend, they've been going on online and manipulating some of the, the lights. So they may be able to put that on there, but uh, it's on here. Uh, I'm sure they can. They talk about putting on the PAS. Okay, great. Yeah. The basketball 
padding won't stay on. You showed that. Yeah. And Brad, that's Brad from the issues and you talk to the company because you guys can address that. Okay. Uh, Dana, did you, did you take care of the commode bolts? That's the same issue that we thought maybe would cause the sewer odors. The steamer in the kitchen. I'll come right off. That's a better position. I feel like we're going to get the company uh, that supplied all the kitchen equipment to come back. But it's not up to the local uh, repair. Who is it? Uh, statewide service. It's statewide service. It's, yeah, it's not statewide up to them. It's up to the main uh, the supplier that supplied the equipment. Obviously, you have a lemon or something that needs to be. It's it's the company out of Pennsylvania, I can't remember there. Yeah, I've talked to them too. They're out of Pennsylvania. Okay, the next one, the signage that was taken care of. Mm -hmm. um, the lights, Dana, the globes in the freezer and the refrigeration. You told me that they were working on that. Jordan Smith said that they would seal the condo with oh. the heat. And I'll give you that one. Yeah. Oh, okay. This was Dana's extra. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think they'll take care of that. Okay. Um, and then the scoreboard southern side portion was not working, but that's been fixed. Okay. Any questions?
13th and the 27th of this month. And then next month, the 4th, which is next to the platform.
and you'd have too much slope to gravity feed him on that thing. But I believe if he was on the lower level, I believe he could gravity feed to the salt They were concerned too about being in the low level. myself, I don't know if anybody else does too. I just like, you know, here's one thing about it. It's something totally new to us. Well, I don't know. I mean, you know, to me, but just like the sewer, that's something that needs to be thought about before you build a building. Right. And if you can't get to it from anywhere, that's not a good place to build it. Well, we made arrangements for the football stadium. and we ran a sewer under the blacktop right. over there towards that uh, yeah. football stadium kind of thinking that that's where it would eventually be. So but, but where he wanted to put it, there wouldn't be no way of getting it out to the front of that school yeah. uh, without putting another lift station in it there that high. That's the reason I thought we could get it in the original location to be gravity feed it. Yeah. It's all about putting in a tank and use a two-inch better bomb. <laughs> There's a main hall on the very far left hand side. It kind of the sewer line kind of runs around the road and then crosses that bridge. So you can put a lift station in a better hive. It's been those things expensive pumps are not like that. Well what we have to look at is because you can see in his presentation they weren't Proposing to have any uh, sewage system at all, nor any electrical service, and I think that's what we need to ponder. If those things, like Fred said, if we're going to have uh, you know some kind of plumbing or, or the sewage system, it's got to be in there. Get them. So I think that's one of the everybody we have to kind of hear everybody's ideas and decide if we feel like that's we feel that's appropriate or necessary, then where it should be based upon the things we've said here. I think everybody who's involved in the history of the state. Yeah, here, because we get things on us that we really know very little about, especially the history of it. If you could arrange that, we'd appreciate it. Okay, here, we'll see. Can you give us kind of like a timeline? Maybe we could do this. If I'm not mistaken, we need to know about this or something. He's backed off on that. I mean, I think they're going to slow down and they're going to make sure that they do it right. I think all the things that you've all talked about in consideration before they move forward. So. Well, because we're certainly going to do all we can to program this one. It's going to be good. We want to make the city grow. And maybe this one will help them to do that. We want to make sure there's no problem. Okay, good. Anything else? Here. Thank <laughs> you. 